tension reductions. The rest of us merge with machines like something out of the Borg. Where, where does the spider want to take us ultimately? Well, it will be um, a world in which uh, people have no ability to free think. Their thoughts will be um, downloaded to them and they will love their servitude. You know, some of these transhumanists are talking about that. I mean, this is what Aldous Huxley was talking about. You get people to love their servitude. Although, you know, they're, they're robots, you, you manipulate their minds so they actually enjoy it. Um, and and there's, we've got a guy in this country called um, Warwick, Professor Warwick at Reading University. You know, don't Cyborg. start me off. Don't start me off. Who's talking, you know, he's been one of these people that have pushed the, the microchip agenda and the transhumanist agenda. And he's saying, well, you know, if, if you can feel good, and, and 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 feel nice and feel happy what, what why not get attached to the matrix um, and and it's the it's the complete end of the human being as we know it where you have the ability to um, process information and come to your own conclusions that human will exist no more it will be a, a biological robot that will just respond to um, stimuli. And now DARPA admits what we knew decades ago, and we're kooks, that, oh, we're going to start brain chipping with troops, and, oh, we've been doing tests for decades. Yeah. They had remote control rats and roaches, as you know, 30 years ago, and, and, and now they're rolling it out. And, hey, it's great if you've got epilepsy and a brain stimulator chip makes you be able to live happy. The problem is that's now attached to the Internet, that yeah. wireless system, and to the spider, and you literally have now have a control node for from the spider hooked into you. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, there's this um, movie that's going around in Britain at the moment, it would have been in America earlier, called Transcendence. And um, that uh, was about the internet becoming conscious. And we're now having scientists speculating on whether the internet could become conscious. Well, I think it's already probably conscious. I agree. Um, and, and the idea is to lock us in to that technological consciousness um, so that it is feeding us all our thoughts. And it's something that sounds, well, even less and less now, but to many people will sound completely science fiction. But that's where we're going. And so when we are seeing this, uh, this movement to have brain uh, computer interfaces, um, that's because the body um, is basically, I've been saying this for so long, it's a biological computer and, and the, the, the brain is a, bi a biological computer. And it's because of that, one's a biological computer, one's a, like a technological computer, but because the principles are the same in, in how they work, the basic principles, that's how you can have brain-computer interfacing. The idea is to make that the norm so everyone is connected uh, technologically to this technological collection. Mind. And again, and, and, you, uh, the consciousness of this new AI system being fed the ideas, the dreams of humans is now a future predicting system with almost total accuracy of mass movements cornering the human market. And that ends free will, because if you can track with the future, you can then put in f uh, data that will actually change the course and control the future. Uh, how long do you think stuff really gets crazy? I wonder, Alex, I wonder if that's not already happening. I agree. Can you, uh, in your gut, do you, uh, a lot of people are picking up on the new consciousness. Uh, a lot of people feel the dread. I don't think it's a very sweet thing that's been created. No, I, 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 I have been convinced for a long time that um, we are being fed a reality. Um, and the more that we, if you like, get programmed into it, like with these movies that are portraying the, the, the world they want, the more um, powerfully it affects us. But it's like um, I was saying earlier, you know, if, if I had the wireless internet here, no one could see it, but I tune a computer into, in, into that frequency to pick up the wireless internet, and I have a whole reality on my screen that can be picked up in anywhere in the world, in any culture, um, because of the, the World Wide Web. And all you're doing is, is locking into that World Wide Web through the computer terminal, and therefore you're accessing that collective reality. This biological computer 
is doing that on what I what we would call the matrix. And that's the sixth is, sense. That, that's the sixth sense right there. It, it's so simple. David, you'll be gone in 10 minutes. Stay there. I want to come back. One more little okay. segment to finish your thoughts. DavidIke.com. I'm Alex okay. Jones. Incredible interview. Stay with us. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM-1 from Terraganix. Life's getting better. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. It's the end of time And the Mississippi River She's a gold grind The interest is up And the stock market's down And you're only getting mugged If you go downtown Undoubtedly, the globalists are after free will Undoubtedly, they're into the occult I live back Every society, even though they didn't communicate with each other Built pyramids, step pyramids Or temples And sacrificed children 
ritual abuse of children. And David, I, I know you're a busy guy. It's always great to have you up. I appreciate you coming on. In closing, I want you to talk about your new book, but I want you to answer the question because uh, I've thrown out there a few times, and I know you're you, you know not into your ego or whatever, but we need to analyze why you've been successful myself and a handful of others as kind of the icons of the awakening to understand what's made us successful at waking people up. So briefly, uh, why do you think you've been so successful? Why do you think I've been so successful when there's been so many other articulate people out there saying you know, some of the same things? Uh, wh why has that been? Well, I, I think the only way to succeed in this arena is one word, persistence. When you refuse to take no for an answer, when you refuse to even accept the possibility that you will give up, and that you know that the day you keel over and leave this reality, you'll still be doing it, and you'll still be trying, and you'll still be doing what you can, then when big um, challenges come up, when you get the abuse, when you, when you get people trying to undermine you, when people attack you, when, when people ridicule you, um, because giving up is simply not an option, it means that instead of feeling sorry for yourself and walking away and sitting in a corner or walking away and thinking, uh, uh, you know, I'm not doing this anymore, you keep m walking, you keep moving, you, you do more, you, you are persistent. And when you do that, you break down barriers. And key to that over the years is that what people have said is shown to have validity. I mean, when I was at the height of my uh, ridicule, which was almost of historic proportions in this country um, in the 1990s, early 1990s, um, I... Um, I, I was of the um, of the the belief that if what I said had any validity, then it would be shown eventually to be so, and then all that abuse would start and, and ridicule would start to fade away. What do you mean it will go? My goodness me, it hasn't. But it would start to fade as more and more people went. Hold on a second. What this bloke said then it's happening, and and you. you then you go on to the next thing, more persistence, more persistence, and that process repeats itself and repeats itself. And eventually you, 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 know, you part the seas, if you like, and more and more people start to see, actually, this person, whoever it is, is actually worth listening to because they've got a track record. Look, it's happening, what they said. And this is why I say to people, if you hide um, and keep your mouth shut, and don't speak your truth because you fear the reaction of others, then you are not going to have that process of eventually people saying, hold on a second, what he said is happening. My goodness, what else is he saying? Because you've never said it, because you were frightened to, because people would ridicule you or, or condemn you or whatever. If we don't have the backbone to speak our truth, whatever that truth may be, then how can any of us talk about freedom? Because there's no greater freedom than being able to speak your truth no matter what it is. That's right. Without that fundamental freedom, there is no other freedom. That's right. So it's persistence and it's having the balls, basically, to, to say things that are unacceptable to society at that time, take the consequences of that, but keep saying them until the, the day dawns when people start to say, hold, hold on a second, it's not as mad as we thought he was. Look, and, and without those two things, then you're never going to be successful in, in communicating this information. And it's like that anywhere in life. They, they want people to be spectators who aren't on the field. And, and I didn't really know the answer to that when I asked it. But, but that's total truth, what you said, Veritas, sage advice.
having the basic fundamentals, having your instincts, having the research, the history, and knowing you're right and never stopping. That's what they're scared of. And that's why we've been successful. We haven't been caught off in the infighting. It's because we had a passion for freedom and truth. We've been successful. David Icke, it's great to know you. DavidIcke.com, the new book's out. Um, thank you so much for coming on with us. We really appreciate you spending time with us. And hopefully you'll be back with us again very soon. Thank you. Um, at Wembley Arena, 25th of October. I'm putting it all together. Oh, we, well, we'd love to promote that before we come back on about that. Wembley Arena, DavidIcke.com. We'll be back with a report from the border. Thank you so much, David. Cheers, Alex. We're on the march.